looking at the Orange River. This is the divide between South Africa and Namibia. We're standing on the South African side. Look how narrow it is there. There you can basically walk through to the Namibian side. That's interesting. <laughs> sure. We did this all in 4x2 only, eh? We're hundreds of kilometers away from civilization and yet there's some goat walking around here. Ay, that toffee. It's trying to get a boss to Uh-oh. That's not fun. Maybe time to wear some shoes. So whenever you travel long distance on bad roads, there's always something that goes wrong. Either a bolt falls out or a wheel comes loose or something like that. So we had some minor damage. We had a can that perforated itself there in the corner. You can see there's a, there's a nice hole there. That's just from standing on the floor and just wiggling all the time. And then it made a, we made a hole. So that was minus a water can. And when we stopped here, we noticed that one of my lenses of the spotlights disappeared. Last night's nice leftovers. Just look at that. Look at this. <laughs> That warden wrote it food to me. Eh? I picked it up. I am. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Don't fall off again. <laughs> Let me stay. Oh, they, one of them might even be dinner. <laughs> the shepherd here who is the owner of this dog telling me that he is feeding this dog really what's he feeding him grass because I'm actually quite upset with what's going on here like it's terrible water okay there's a river for water there don't worry about the water it's the food look at him I haven't seen such a skinny dog in my life. There you go, boy. I went for a swim, I heard Rinda yell here from the van, couldn't figure out what's going on because there's not a soul in sight. 
Then there was a monkey inside the van with her trying to steal the bread. So we were forced to put up the shade cloth at the top so that the monkey would, because he tried a few times to get in here. They're very brazen. I says the only reason I've got this for is to close it up for them. So they think it's a wall and they can't. Yeah. Don't you want a friend in here? <laughs> <I'm scared. laughs> This is why good insulation is so important. It is cooler inside the van than outside. We both prefer to eat inside the van because it's way cooler in there than underneath the awning. Pack of bacon just for me and Renda. That's gonna be so awesome. We packed and ready to go after two blissful days here by the river. And we made a great effort of feeding this one. This one's looking a lot stronger. Gave him all our leftovers. This is now really in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I think it's fine now. Yes. Very special time of the evening here at Kukavun. Just look at the sky. This is found here in this area. And if you smash it and put it in the fire, it gives a very special effect. Some giant forgot his marbles here. Yeah. He who drinks gin and tonic is not safe from the evil. Oh, well, that clever guy last night he thought that gin and tonic will help to keep the mosquitoes away. show you our throne room. Very exclusive. We only do it in the start. The private toilet with air ventilation and good lighting. So while we're driving, Renda notices something in the mirror. And guess what she sees in the mirror? <laughs> if you cut to bring a whole set of knives and forks back, they're all still here after about what? Eight to ten Ks? <laughs> Great little bag. You've got problems. 